What's happening, Mad Squad? It's Joe, aka Mad Joe C. I, if you watched my Defenders five through episodes five through eight review, I told you this was gonna happen. I told. I mean, we all knew it was gonna happen, but I said it. I said it. I said Netflix needs to do this, and I hope they can, and they did. Before we get to that. Uh, we got our first look at Evet Evet Evangeline Evang Evangeline Lily's Ant Man and the Wasp costume. So, for this and for Misty Knight, I have only seen it once. Okay, I've glimpsed at it. The Misty Knight one, I was sent. Um, it was sent to me by one of my followers on. Uh, social media, so thank you, MCU versus Comics, for always being a real G and sending me what I need to know. And the Wasp costume, I just happened to be on social media. I saw it. I was like, ah! and make sure to not look at it again until now. So let's read this article. Ant Man and the Wasp star. Evangeline Lilly just revealed the first look at herself in costume as the Wasp. Lilly revealed the image on Twitter to celebrate what would have been the 100th birthday of the Wasp's co-creator, Jack Kirby. Okay. First, first thing I noticed is none about the costume is that she's rocking long hair this time. Which, I'm down for, okay? The image here is pretty small, so let me become sophisticated Joe. So I can observe this. Hold up. Alright. I'm liking it. I think it is a little bit different than the one that we saw at the very end of uh, Ant-Man. I think maybe in the colors a little bit. I think that's it. But there's not okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. If anything is better. Okay. We never got to see the suit, the wasp suit in action. So this doesn't change anything really. You know. Yeah, I like it. Nothing too crazy going on, so not too much for me to say, but I do like it, okay? I do like it. So, I know Infinity, Infinity War and Avengers 4 is two separate stories, so I assume Wasp won't be in Infinity. Was she even confirmed to be as a member, as a cast? I don't know. So is she going to make her debut as Wasp in Infinity War or in Ant-Man the Wasp? Let me know. I'm not sure. I can't remember if she's on the cast for Infinity War or not. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I assume... Well, obviously this is a set photo of one of the scenes I would pres presume. Just observing some stuff. Looks like she's in a classroom. Yes, I do this. I break things down, kind of go into detail. And uh, when we get things like this, where it's a scene from the movie, I try and kind of depict what could be going on, you know? So she's definitely in a classroom. Uh, what's the board say? It's talking about ants growing. Not really much. Maybe it, maybe it's Cassie's room. I mean, uh, yeah, Cassie's classroom at her school. Maybe that's the only thing I could really assume it would. That's the only reason I could assume she would be in a classroom. I don't know. I don't think Hank Penn would be a go being a teacher or anything. 
I'm thinking it might be uh, Cassie's classroom, maybe. Because it's definitely a classroom, and it's a scene from the movie. Either way, the suit looks good, and I'm ready for this. I enjoyed the first Ant-Man. A lot of people said it was too, like, too comedic, but I mean, that's kind of Ant-Man, you know? That, that's, that's like saying... That's like saying you don't want Spider-Man to be throwing around quips and stuff while he's fighting. Okay? That's what it sounds like to me when you say Ant-Man was too comedic. Because it that's his, that's his character. That's his personality. You know? And it works. It works. It worked in Ant-Man and in Civil War. Okay? So, I didn't have a problem with that, man. You already know I'm watching it anyway, so... Yeah, everything looks good to me. But, I do have to say, I actually am more excited for what is next. First, Luke Cage Season 2 photo reveals Misty Knight's bionic arm. Now this... I knew Netflix was going to have to do it. I'm just still surprised that they actually did it. So, let's read this. Marvel and Netflix have released the first photo from the second season of Marvel's Luke Cage, and it finally brings Misty Knight out in her full comic book glory. The new photo offers the first look. The heck? Hold up. Ugh. Sorry about that. That startled me for a minute. Alright. The new... Before I was rudely interrupted by speaking lady. Let's see. The new photo offers the first look at Misty Knight. Simon, Simone, Sim, Sim, Simone Missick with the bionic arm that is her signature weapon in the Marvel Comics universe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like that. I like that. This works. Just trying to get the image a little bit bigger. Alright, so, apparently doesn't want to get bigger, so, uh, yeah, just gonna have to check it out how it is. Uh-huh. That does it for me. That does it. And, okay, this is Netflix, so, I'm trying to tell from here, is it CGI, or is it practical? It looks like it could be practical. Either way, it looks awesome to me. I have no clue what could be going on, but I do know they are in, I'd assume, an auto body shop or just a regular mechanic shop. I have no clue what's going on, though. But it's awesome to see that she's finally going to be praised how we all wanted to see her since season one. I'm sorry, but it, this does justice to her character in my eyes. Okay? Now we just need to see it in action. Now we just need to see it in action. Still trying to... I don't know. CGI or practical, whatever it is. It looks awesome to me. So, yeah. She's been done justice. 
see. Do I need to read any of this? I'll go ahead. At the end of Marvel, at at the end of Marvel's did the can't read. At the end of Marvel's The Defenders, which saw not only Marvel's four Netflix lead Netflix leads team up, but also the first meeting of the Daughters of the Dragon. Mm -hmm. I noticed that Misty Knight had her right arm cut off by Bakutu, the villain from Marvel's Iron Fist, who was believed dead but returned to Defenders as one of the five fingers of the hand. Bakutu paid for Misty's arm with his life. But the last we saw of Misty, she was in a hospital owned by Danny Rand, recuperating with Colleen Wing by her side. Wing told Misty that the hospital is state of the art, which was fans' first clue that the bionic arm may be on the way. Mm -hmm. Since it's attached in the above photo, where Misty is once again side by side with Luke Cage, it would seem that Danny's hospital found a prosthetic that would work for her. Okay, see, a couple of things, or maybe just one thing, I don't know, but uh, when she was in the hospital, and when Colleen Wing said it was owned by Danny Rand, I called it, I was like, I know it, I know it, okay, uh, she, she held them out with taking down the hand, okay, Danny owns the hospital, her and Danny are kind of good, and her and Colleen, you know. So, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I just wanted to see how it would look on a Netflix budget. And, it looks good to me. It looks A-OK -okay to me. But also, I noticed, since Danny owned the hospital, um... Colleen was in there. Daniel's probably off doing whatever. But he owns the hospital, and since her and Danny, you know, are together, she was in there with Misty. Isn't that a coincidence? The Daughters of the Dragon in the same room together on screen. Talking. Uh-huh. Not a coincidence. So, I don't know if... Maybe in Defender Season 2, if that happens, or Iron Fist Season 2. I don't know if we'll ever see them team up, but it'd be really awesome to see on screen, okay? The Here's for Hire, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist team up. They captured, it was everything I wanted it to be, you know? The way Luke was acting to Danny, the way Danny was to Luke, you know? Their chemistry, their back and forth bantering, you know, it was everything I wanted it to be for them to be first meeting. It was everything I wanted it to be. And you could tell that like, um, the things they were saying to each other, you know, the writers of the show were like, okay, we know then the comics, Luke Cage and Danny Rand are, uh, you know, like, best buddies, you know, buddy, buddy, and everybody knows that, and everybody loves it, we need to bring that to this show, and we need to show people that we are doing that, um, in the writing of this show, we need to show people that, yes, you know, we're going to bring your, uh, comic love to life, and so they did it perfectly to me, so, yeah, Back to the Daughters of the Dragon, though. It'll be cool to see it happen, okay? I'm down. I'm down. Okay? I love the character Misty Knight, and I love Colleen Wing, so... Yeah. Come on, Netflix. Heroes for Hire could happen. And I would be down... This might just be me... But I would personally be down for a Daughters of the Dragon Netflix series. Preferably, I prefer them work it into maybe Iron Fist Season 2 or something. You know, have the Daughters of the Dragon by Danny's side or something, you know. But I would also be down for a Daughters of the Dragon Netflix series with just Colleen Wing and Misty Knight, you know. 
I'd be down for that as well. Like I said, I prefer if they put in maybe Iron Fist Season 2. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Okay? I'm down for this. I am down, and I need to see the arm in action. That's all I need. I need to see how the arm's going to look in action on a Netflix budget. It looks practical. It looks practical. So, let me know what you thought of all of this awesomeness. If you enjoyed this video, let me know what you thought. Links to all my social media will be down below in the description box. There are two like buttons. If you enjoyed, hit the like button with the thumb pointing up. Share this video to anyone you feel enjoy. And tap the subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell to join the Mad Squad on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. My name's Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. I hope y'all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.